I was messing around in the Life Ray control panel. This is Life Ray uh, DXP Community Edition, and I was trying to get the Static Util uh, class to work under FreeMarker, so under System Settings, FreeMarker Engine, and uh, I uh, I made some kind of mistake, and uh, I was doing something like this in the control panel, and uh, to get this uh, value to work, you have to reboot afterwards. And uh, after rebooting, well, after restarting, my life ray wouldn't start up. So here, that's, here's the problem I've got. I've connected to localhost, and uh, there's nothing being shown. So it, it it seems to be running, but nothing being displayed. And that seems to tie in with what I was doing. So I was working with a free marker, which uh, um, engine, trying to configure it. And uh, if I go over here, you'll see the error is uh, I can see something here. It's um, in the Equinox container, which is linked to the OSGI stuff in uh, Life Ray 7, and it's free marker. Uh, the activate method has thrown an exception. Uh, index out of bounds. Okay, um, some of it's stuck here because my uh, Life Ray won't boot. But um, if I connect to the database, this is if you look at my other video, you'll see. Um, You'll see how to do that. What I'm going to do is uh, try and sort this out by actually editing the value in the database because I'm completely stuck otherwise, and uh, it's going to be a bit of a pain to um, to uh, recreate all the work I've done under this instance. So uh, I'll go down to Squirrel. And uh, it's my community edition. There's no password to give. Ah, you see, it won't connect. That's because I'm actually... Because uh, there's a lock on the database. What I need to do is go back over here and stop life ray. And then I should be able to connect. Obviously, you can't have two clients connecting at the same time, or you could end up with some uh, pretty weird state. So I go under public table, and what I'm going to have a look at is the it's in configuration, and uh, I want to look at the content. Hello, there we go, free marker. Let's have a look at that. There's a static util, and it's saying something about an index out of range. So there's something wrong. It looks okay. Allow classes. Localize lookup. Commas look okay. It's comma at the end. I can't. I can't understand what the problem is. So what I'm going to do is uh, completely zap. Uh, now I need to be able to edit that. Make editable. There we go. This is very handy. And what I'm going to do is zap everything. So what we'll do after we deleted uh, what was in this um, row for a free marker, which seems to be causing our problems, uh, what we'll do is we'll just replace it with uh, open close square bracket like that and uh, save that. That should be done. And uh, we'll close our database. And let's restart so there you go, we've started and uh, this is what I was trying to debug which is why I was making some changes to that configuration uh, so I can log in now and uh, let's go and have a look in that table it was system settings, um, foundation, and it was the free marker engine. And you can see it's actually put uh, the values back as they were before. So uh, that's what's. Uh, so we uh, we need to just, in our case, we want to get rid of the restricted variable. Uh, static util, we want to use that to be able to load uh, static utilities. Having saved our um, 
setting in uh, life ray if we go back into our client our uh, database client and have a look at the configuration table see free marker it's uh, magically must have all of the defaults stored somewhere and it's uh, magically reinserted all of the correct data so um, there we go we can now uh, re we can uh, boot uh, Liferay we've fixed the problem in this table um, it's obviously some kind of bug in Liferay it might have been fixed uh, with a service pack but it's something affecting the uh, community edition when you add and remove values from certain fields